This is Kent Stater TV. Good morning, I'm Talia Milowich with KSTV. Today I have stories on tech news from Google to TikTok bans, American Girl Doll costumes, presidential donations, and more. But we start with some local updates. In Akron, the National Inventors Hall of Fame STEM High School is moving to a new location at the Robinson Community Learning Center. This move is significant for the school, which was formerly located in the Central Howard High School building on the University of Akron campus. The Akron Public Schools Board voted in March to approve a redistricting plan, and an open house is set up for the end of October. In a poll done by Baldwin Wallace University, 69% of Ohio voters opposed gerrymandering ahead of the Issue 1 vote. The issue is a proposed state constitutional amendment removing elected politicians from drawing maps for state legislative and congressional districts and replacing it with independent citizens commissions made up of the three major parties. The survey of 877 registered voters across Ohio was conducted September 30th through October 1st. Cleveland is giving many city employees a half day for election day after city council named it an official city holiday. This is to enable workers to vote, which busy schedules can often prevent people, prevent people from doing. Non-union union workers are immediately eligible, but unions are in the process of negotiating adding this benefit. Vice President Kamala Harris has raised a billion dollars since launching her presidential campaign. Harris entered the race in July, just after President Joe Biden dropped out. The billion dollar mark is a fundraising milestone for the vice president in her campaign for president against formal Don former President Donald Trump. <coughs> the name of Uvalde, Texas's newest school pays tribute to the victims of the 2022 Robb Elementary mass shooting. The board approved the name Tuesday evening, Legacy Elementary. The new school will feature tributes to students and teachers killed during the mass shooting. Legacy Elementary is under construction two miles away from Robb Elementary, replacing the old school. Legacy is planned to be ready by next school year. In a court filing Tuesday, the Justice Department said it might recommend breaking up Google after the company's search platform was declared an illegal monopoly. The DOJ says this prevents Google from using search features to advance over its rivals. Google said the government's plan could make their customers' experiences worse and undermine privacy. This potential plan comes after a judge ruled in August that Google violated antitrust laws with its search business. Google had said it planned it to appeal the decision at the time. A new lawsuit against TikTok says the platform is harmful for children and teens. Studies suggest this is true for all social media, but the lawsuit accused TikTok of being particularly dangerous. CNN's Amy Kiley has what parents and families need to know. For the developing teenage mind, the TikTok platform is like digital nicotine. TikTok faces new lawsuits from 14 state attorneys general who allege it hurts young people's mental health. Our goal is to hold the company accountable for its unlawful conduct and to stop the company from engaging in practices that exploit our young people for profit. Numerous studies show social media in general can harm children and teens. A CDC survey out just yesterday shows high schoolers who use it frequently report more negative experiences and emotions. But the new lawsuit single out TikTok as being especially dangerous. We know that the overuse of social media is driving an epidemic of mental health uh, challenges for young people. TikTok is particularly effective at it. The suits argue TikTok's endless scrolling content is addictive. They say challenge videos on the platform can encourage risky behavior and late night push notifications can disrupt sleep. It's intentional design choices that trap young people's time and attention and hurt them in the process. TikTok says it's proud of its efforts to protect teens. It says it removes underage users and employs safeguards. TikTok hasn't been straight with the public, with parents, with children in overstating its safety features when it knows, in fact, that the safety features don't work. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. 
If you ever dreamed of being an American Girl doll, now is your chance. The company has teamed up with Ruby's to create adult Halloween costumes. You can choose from original favorites, 1854's Kirsten, 1904's Samantha, or 1944's Molly. Kit, Courtney, Julie, Mary Ellen, and Melody are also available. Each costume is a recreation of the doll's full outfits. You can also get a doll box costume to complete the look. The costumes are available at Target, Amazon, and Costumes.com. That is all of your Kent Stater TV Flashcast top stories. For more stories of your community and your stories, follow Kent Wired on all social media platforms. I'm Talia Milowich. Have a great day, Portage County.